Hello, I'm Daniel. In this video, I'll show you how to back up and restore your Bitcoins using a recovery mnemonic phrase, or sometimes also called the seed. We'll be using the blockchain.info wallet app in order to back up the funds, which you'll see I have already open on the left side of my screen. Now you'll just have to tap on the top left corner, then go to backup funds, and you'll see that I have already backed them up, but you should be getting a similar screen asking you to write the words down in a piece of paper. This is important because if you store them on your phone, computer, or any online device, and your device gets hacked, then your recovery phrase may be compromised and also your funds as well. Now, you should never show your recovery phrase to anybody because that's the only thing that they need in order to spend your funds. Before uploading this video, I actually send the funds to another separate wallet with a different private key. So even though the internet knows what my private key is, they will not be able to spend the funds because there will not be any balance left. Now let's go through the recovery procedure here. So you'll go ahead and write down each word with its corresponding word number. Until all the 12 words have been written down. And now it's basically checking that I've written down the words in the right order. So I'll just go ahead and type the set of words that it's asking me. And that's it your funds are now secured, as long as your recovery phrase doesn't get compromised. Now, the cool thing about this recovery method is that even if blockchain.info uh, gets out of business or goes out of business, or you cannot get access to your blockchain.info wallet app for whatever reason, then you will be able to import or restore your Bitcoins into another wallet that's not from blockchain.info. The only requirement is that they support the standards called BIP39 and BIP44. That stands for Bitcoin Improvement Protocol. And that's basically just a standard by which the private key is made into a mnemonic phrase and also how the addresses are derived from it. Now, I'll go ahead and show you separately on another wallet called Copay how to import the private keys and basically transfer your funds from one wallet to the next. Now at the Copay app, go ahead and go to the Home tab, then go to the top right corner and hit the plus sign next to Wallets create new personal wallet okay we're just gonna put just blockchain as a reference go to the show advanced options and right next to wallet key select specif specify recovery phrase now I'll just go ahead and write down all of the words we just wrote down okay after writing them down we'll go to create new wallet now you see that in my blockchain wallet I have 0 0.001 Bitcoin or 1 millibitcoin that I can freely spend you'll notice that if I switch back to the blockchain.info wallet here I have the same one milli Bitcoin balance over there. So basically I have the alternative to spend this one milli Bitcoin using my blockchain.info wallet or my copay wallet. It's not that you have magically two milli Bitcoins at this point. So this is the reason that if somebody gets a hold of your private key or your recovery phrase, they can spend your Bitcoin before you do. So that's a risk in exposing the private key. I hope that this tutorial was useful.
Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.